Yeah, so I just wanted to um, talk about these Alpaca Gear zip pouches. Um, so for many years I've been using this sacred card box. And, um, you know, it's worked really well. Flicks out. Cards. Um, it's solid. It's metal. Fits in your pocket nicely. The only thing I don't like about it is it's black and it disappears in a backpack. You can't find it. And actually, it slipped down the back of my, you know, my workstation, my work from home setup and gone behind a table leg. And I spent four hours looking for it. Couldn't see it because it was black against black. And, um, yeah, I started to see like adverts on social media for alpaca gear. Uh, and I have to say their social media presence is pretty aggressive. Uh, once you interact with them, you know, as is the case with a lot of companies these days, the algorithm finds you. Um, so you'll start seeing, you know, YouTube shorts and things like this. But I thought, you know, watching a few videos and a few reviews, um, I kind of like the idea of this tough x pack material, you know, water resistant, waterproof, the AquaGuard zippers. Uh, and the overall look, and I guess I was monkeyed a little bit, you know, we like things, we like to play with things and get new things and stuff. So I thought, you know what, I'll get, I'll get one of these pouches. And this, I've been using this for like say about three months now. Um, and this is just a regular alpaca gear zip pouch. Uh, it's just the one front pocket, the one internal pocket with uh, with a divider. And um, it's worked pretty well, you know. Um, the only thing I would say, I guess, as a negative is the zip doesn't really go all the way across. And the zip at the top doesn't really go all across. You've got these bits here where it kind of impedes your access. You have to kind of slot the cards in at an angle. Um, it's no biggie. I only carry a few cards. Uh, I guess the only other negative really is these poles start to fray a little bit. You can kind of burn off the little little threads with a with a lighter or something like that. It's no it's no you know hardship really. It just starts to look a little bit tatty. Um, so that, but that's that's been fine. You know, uh, slips in the front pocket kind of easily. Uh, I don't carry too much with me. And then I was kind of like monkey by this Zip Pouch Pro, right? I thought, you know, this would be a great idea. It's got separate, um, you know, compartments um, for your carry items. And I've been using this for about, I don't know, a week or two. And I'm just not impressed. I'm sorry to say, all of the reviews on YouTube really rate this. And I just don't. And it's a bit weird, really, because this same, the same items that are packed in here are fine. Packed in there here using the external pockets, it becomes twice as big. And it actually means that these, you know, these little pockets are nigh on useless because the pressure of the items on the outside is such that you can't you can't really get things in there. I don't know why my girlfriend just stuck some uh, McDonald's salt and pepper in there the other night. I don't know what she thought we were going to do with that, but I mean that's literally all you can get in there. It's very very tight indeed. And you can maybe get a bit more in there. And similarly with the main compartment, um, it's a struggle to get things in and out. I have to say. Um, so let me de-pack this. So we've got a little Olight mini pen, which is quite useful. I use that quite a lot. A little Olight um, mini flashlight. I don't use it at all. I mean, I, I shouldn't. I don't really need to carry it. But we'll get onto that because that this actually, yeah, we'll get onto that. So a little flashlight, and then I've got a little Victorinox Alox Cadet, which. Uh, it's super useful. Um, I really, I really use the, um, the nail file a lot. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's great. I really like it. It's slim. Um, it's got the blade. It's got the nail file. And it's got a bottle opener and a can opener. I mean, I never use it. I never use the blade. I literally use it for the nail file. Oh, and occasionally I'll use like the um, the flathead bit of that as a little screwdriver. Occasionally, like once ever. So, but you know, it's just a thing with carrying it and all this. And then what else have I got in here? I've got a little Chipolo card tracker. Uh, similar to the Apple AirTags, but works for Android. That's really good. I really like that. The only thing I don't like about these is that batteries are non-replaceable. So eventually, once it goes, it's dead. And I think they've got about a year, maybe more, life. Um, for the price of them, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a rip. And then I've got cards. I'll put those over there. There's like, uh, what's that? Four cards. Five cards. So, a bank card, a credit card, driving license, a store card, and a Monzo card, and a donor card. And then, in here, I've got a little glasses cleaning cloth, which is useful, obviously, if you wear glasses. And that's, that's it. Yeah, and we've got these little I don't know, McDonald's salt and pepper, right? Take those out. Oh, and there's a little Nexium tablet there. I suffer from uh, reflux sometimes. So that's it. Um, the good thing, I mean, a, a really you know, positive about this one is that the uh, the lining is ultra bright. You can really see what's in there. But yeah, um, if I repack this one, you'll see what I mean. Like that goes in there nice and easy. They'll go in there. That will go in there. We can zip that up. Um, cards can go back in there. Bit hard to get in. And that's that's a failing of that zip design. It's just a little bit awkward to get them in and out. And a little Chipolo card. Um, a little flashlight. Now, as I say, I don't really ever use this, but I guess I could in an emergency, and it fits so much better in here than it does in the Zip Pouch Pro. So that fits in there. Got pen on top. And get my cloth in there. And look at that. Compared with the Zip Pouch Pro, it's just... It's so much better. It's so much easier to get things out. I can get that knife out. No problem. I can get you know, cards out. Get the cloth out. Pen out. It's no hardship carrying that little flashlight that I never use in there. It doesn't take up any space. Using this, putting it in there, or putting it in there, and the pen in there, and then the knife in there, the rest of it becomes virtually unusable. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Um, I like this colour, and I like the lining, but that's it. As a pouch, it doesn't work. It does not work. It's far easier to carry that which remains fairly slim compared with that with the items on the outside and then the pockets left doing virtually nothing or very unusable. And also what I noticed is the fabric really like rocks up a little bit and it's just it just looks a little bit crappy if I'm honest. Um, I mean these things, the quality is okay but for the money considering the the, the shipping from China to the UK, um, they are not worth the money. Categorically not worth the money. This thing was like 25 quid and that's lasted me 10 years. And it works just fine. Admittedly, it only does cards, but it does do cards really well. 
but the downside is, it, is it's it's black and it's easily lost. Um, but even, even you know, look. For instance, let's take this this O light flashlight. Um, in here, you know, in here, that's fine. But then you start putting other things in there. Look, you see, you just can't get in there because of of the way that the item's being held on the outside. So personally speaking, I would give this a swerve. Now I'm probably going to use this for like a first aid kill or something like that, where I don't need to take things in and out of it so often um, for hiking. Um, obviously it's waterproof, it's fairly lightweight and it's fairly small, so all is not lost. But yeah, I was really monkeyed by this. All of these YouTube reviewers saying this is the best thing since the last best thing. It's not. This is the pro for me. And this is the amateur. This is amateur hour. This is like, I don't know what benefit you would get out of having this shit on the outside and then not being able to use the stuff, you know, not being able to use the pockets. It's just whack. But this is great. Um, with a few reservations. I don't like, I don't like the fact that the zip doesn't go all the way across, but you kind of get used to it. You kind of get used to kind of just taking a card out sort of uh, on an angle. So anyway, there you have it. That's it. That's my little uh, my little paste the camera on these things. And I would say, you know, if I if I was gonna buy one again, if I was asked if I was gonna buy it again, I would say no. I wouldn't buy them. Um, there are cheaper options out there. You can get tiny little pouches from like pretty much wherever and they do virtually the same job or admittedly they don't have this material which is quite nice but it doesn't justify the expense the expense is okay until you factor in the shipping from china and if they had a european uh distributor or a european warehouse or whatever um it would be so much better but even then i still think they're overpriced so i wouldn't buy it again i would look for something way cheaper like the topo designs things you know they're very basic, but they do the same thing. They do the same thing. You're just not getting the, the kind of nice material. And if you want to go into that whole alpaca hub gear system, which I think is just a complete waste of time personally, but if you want to get into that, you can hang them up and all that kind of crap. But yeah, that's not for me. Anyway, there you go. This thing, no. This thing, yes, with reservations. And this thing, if you want cards carried, get one of these indestructible. Cheers.